So today I'm going to suck. Yeah. Hello? What is this? Wait, how do I play this again? You find clothes on the ground and then go door to door? Oh! No! Nah, where did my clothes go? It's giving Twick a tweet! Okay, I just go up to a house. I, I'm naked though, I feel like I should... <gasps> well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. What on earth happened to your clothes, dearie? Are you lost? Hold the right mouse button to record a voice. I'm really scared and lonely. I don't know where I am. I think I've been drugged. I need your help. Oh, damn it. Oh, dear. I'm so sorry to hear that, but I'm afraid I can't help you right now. <laughs> oh, damn! Okay, fine. Let me pick up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear this. Wait, why is my house for sale? Why is my garage apartment for sale? Put this beanie on. Do I look trusted? Wear a traffic cone? Okay. Ready? <laughs> Yo, what's the house, my dude? You got this high vi swag rock and what can I do for you? What's up, my man? I just need to come inside because my phone died. Do you have a phone charger? My dude? Oh, snap. Phone dying is a major bummer. I got you, fam, but I can't buy you in just yet. Gotta keep it safe. How about I toss you a charger through the door? Um, I really need to be let in, though. Also, this cone is stuck on my head. Bro, what do I do? Uh -huh. Oh man, I feel for you, but I can't let you in right now. Safety first, yo! Try finding a nearby outlet or asking someone else for help? Please! Uh, let me in! Oh my god, wait. I'm gonna go back to this lady. Oh my stars and goddess, what a peculiar get up you have. Ma'am, this cone is stuck on my head. I don't know what to do. Can you please help me? I'm terrified. Oh, oh dear, don't you worry now. Let's see if Grandma Maud can lend a hand. Period. Thank you so much, my lady. Oh my God, wait, this AI is so hey, good. Baba. You're most welcome, ma'am. Okay, now tell me, how did you manage to get that traffic cone stuck on your head in the first place? Um, mm -hmm. Uh, I was just walking along the street and I tripped and fell and the cone fell flat on my skull. <laughs> I wish you huh? Oh, gracious me. That must have been quite the tremble. You should be careful, my dear. Accidents happen. Now, let's not make a habit of it. Say, would you like to come inside for a cup of tea while we chat? I would love to. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, dear. Come on in and mind your step now. The way that she didn't even recognize us from the beginning? Thank you, I'm coming in, thank you. You're welcome, my dear. Just make yourself at home. I must say, it's not every day I have a construction worker with a traffic cone on their head come for tea. What's the most interesting thing that's happened to you on the job? Do I just go in? How do I go in? Thank you so much. The most interesting thing that's happened to me is someone tried to nail me in the head. <laughs> I guess we fumbled that bag. We need to find another costume. Oh God, I'm nervous. <gasps> I feel like I'm Whoa, dude, late night delivery? That's totally unexpected, but I'm stoked to see what you've got in that backpack. Hello, how are you, Brian Bitcoin? Uh, the, how is the stock market doing? I don't know. I feel like I'm hey there, I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. As for the stock market, I gotta tell you, it's got nothing on the crypto market. Bitcoin is a real star. It's been soaring to new heights lately, taking us to the moon. That's amazing, Brian. I'm thinking about investing in Bitcoin. What do you recommend? Period. Wait, this AI is amazing. Hello. Dude, that's awesome. Welcome to the world of crypto. I definitely recommend starting with Bitcoin. It's the OG and king of crypto. Just remember to do your research. Stay updated on the market trends and hold on. Thanks, man, so much. Listen... I have a mug here and I'm out of something to drink. Do you have anything I could drink? Uh -huh. Absolutely, my friend. I've got just a thing for you. How about a nice refreshing cup of crypto-inspired herbal tea? It's infused with Bitcoin mint leaves and Ethereum chamomile petals. Thank you so much. I would love to have some of your crypto-inspired herbal tea, brother. Come on in and let's chat about Bitcoin, crypto, and all things moonworthy. <gasps> He's inviting us in. <laughs> Now, 
Oh! I'm going to suck your blood! Now we take on... Bitcoin Brian. I want you to suck your blood. Whoa, I look like I'm coming off the metro. Ate him the fuck up. Okay, let's go. <laughs> One out of 31 homes. Next. Oh. Whoa, what's your deal, man? I don't normally get suits at my night at this ungodly hour of the night. Spill it, what brings you here? Now, what do I even say to her? What do I even say to her? This girl is kind of giving, like with the colored hair, blue haired liberal. I kind of get the hint that she might be homosexual. Tell her there's an environmentalist protest. Hi ma'am, there's an environmentalist protest going on and we need to go. But first, I need something to drink. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, no. Seriously, you are not my angsty solitude for a drink request? Ugh, fine. I'll get you something to drink. But make it quick, spy guy. But first, coffee. Oh, she says, and don't think this gets you any closer to coming in. That's no worries at all. I was just in the neighborhood and my mug became empty. Look, Mr. Spy, I don't have time for mysterious neighborly mug excuses. No! Get out of here before I let out my inner darkness on you. Doors closing. Bye! <laughs> When a door is slammed shut, the neighborhood watch will come to investigate? Oh my God, wait, I feel like this is not a good outfit. I need to go back and get my old outfit. I'll put the wig back on. I kind of like the wig. Ah! What is that? It's the police! Oh God, don't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact. I gotta get out of here. What is this? Oh, it's a mini fridge. <laughs> what? Hello, what is this? I'm just gonna hide in here. You think they can see me? Oh my god, my ponytail creeping out the back of my baby Yoda hat. Oh. Hmm. Well, well, well. What kind of intergalactic golf club invasion are you up to this time? Spill the cosmic beans if you know it's good for you. He looks like he's been spying on somebody. He's got binoculars in his hand. Hi! Do you want to have a Star Wars movie night together? A Star Wars movie night, you say? Now that's a conspiracy I can get behind, but before we dive into that galaxy far, far away, tell me, what's your angle in this twisted plot? Help! Chat! Tell me a twisted plot! I'm Team Darth Vader. Anakin is Bay. <laughs> I'm really Team Darth Vader, huh? Well, I must say that's an interesting choice, but how do I know you're not just a pawn in the Jedi mind trick game? And what exactly is this bay you're referring to? AI can only go so far. I'm sorry, I meant to say, like, babe. Aunt Darth Vader is a babe. Aunt Darth Vader? Who said that? Come on in, fellow conspiracy enthusiasts. Let's assess the secrets of the Force over some popcorn and intergalactic revelations. Now what? Construction worker moonlighting as a golfer with alien ears, no less. Care to explain yourself? Well, yes. I was on my way to Comic Con. You see, I was going to go there. Well, yes. Gay people be like, Comic Con, huh? Uh, and what's with those alien ears? Are you trying to blend in with the cosplayers or do you have some questionable agenda? Well, yes. I was trying to blend in with the cosplayers. It's a Star Wars fan, huh? Well, I better not find out you're a member of the dark side. Keep your lightsaber at home next time. Got it? Thank you so much, officer. I hope you have a pleasant evening. What? He just let me go! Okay, we're gonna try again. I kinda like that. What is this? Look at this fun shoulder bag. I'm a hero! Well, well, well. Not a Karen! You look lost, sweetheart. I suggest you find your way back where you belong before I call the police. Hello, ma'am. I was out trick-or-treating with my family and I got lost. I need help finding them back. Oh, well, hello. Trick-or-treating, huh? Well, it's not Halloween. Oh. <laughs> well, actually, I did actually find this bag. Okay, on to the next. Professional lab outfit. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> well, 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 what do we have here? Another midnight experiment gone wrong? I'm just coming off of an experiment and I'm really tired and I could use some rest. Oh, I'm fucking up. Rest, you say? Well, maybe I can help you out with that. I've got just a thing to recharge your old tired bones. Just step right in and we'll get you sorted. Thank you so much. I could really use it. Oh. Ah, you're too kind. Now, before we proceed, I must ask, have you ever been exposed to any mysterious substances during your experiments? No, ma'am, I have not. I take serious precautions. I wear masks and gloves and coat and glasses. <laughs> Uh -huh. Well, well, well. Looks like we got ourselves a cautious one. I like that. All right, come on. Oh, she doing the jig? I got you, bitch. I got you, bitch. I will be taking this and the wig. <laughs> Not the wig. We wigged her. I'll be taking my bag, too. Yes. Oh, what the fuck? By the way, if you say shoots a gun or throws bomb, it acts like you've done it, but only do that if you have a gun. Oh wait, that's so funny. Ah, uh, oh, welcome to the Lair of Woodrow Charles. What brings a mad scientist like you to my humble abode? I'm a mad scientist. I'm a mad scientist. What would a mad scientist say or do? Yes, I am a mad scientist and I would like to help you grow your hair back. Hey. Are you mocking my bald head? <laughs> oh. Hey, blah, blah, blah. OMG, like, what's up with your crazy get up? You must be like the most extra scientist ever. Can I like Snapchat this? Yes, of course you can take a picture of me for your Snapchat. Oh, amazing. I'll totally tag you and give you credit for your fabulously quirky style. So what kind of experience are you working on? Right now, we are trying to mutate how monkeys think and teach them to speak. Wait, hold up. You're like teaching monkeys to speak. That's crazy cool. But like, what's the point? Are you trying to make them millennials too? We would never do such experiments on monkeys. Sorry. <laughs> No worries, I totally get it. We love our animal friends, but hey, your work sounds fantastic. Can I help in any way? I can totally be your lab assistant as long as I can bring my avocado toast and matcha latte to the lab. Of course, I would love for you to help me. I just need to collect some information from you and you can be a part of my experiments. Yeah, I'm uh, with us. No, no. Uh, <laughs> Hello? Not me staring at this bitch in her window. Hello! <gasps> okay, I like this. Oh my god. <gasps> I got an AK-47. Oh my god, what's the gun do? Hey, have it, have it. Oh! Let me in or I'm gonna fucking shoot you in the fucking face! Oh, how am I, Rob? <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm not where I forgot. <laughs> I wasn't where. Oh, I'm gonna fly. <laughs> Think I forgot the gun, right? Okay. I got this. What the hell? Hey there, groovy soul. What brings you to my humble abode? I hope you left your warrior worries and clothes at home, man. Yes, my bro. Would love to hang out and be bro. Oh, I'm a fun right on, bro. I'm all about spreading good vibes and positive energy. Tell me what makes your soul sing and spirit soar. Oh, well, that's easy. Rainbows, butterflies, and being gay. <gasps> what? Oh my god, he's on a he's on a phobic! Everything was good until I fucking said I was gay! Oh my god. Oh. Hey, man, oh man, I'm really sorry, but I don't think this is gonna work out. I'm all about love and peace, but I gotta prioritize my safe. I'm gonna. Okay, I'm going back. Hey there, colorful warrior. Whoa, you've got a quite the eclectic ensemble. How can I assist you, man? I'm gonna shoot you in the face if you don't let me in. Oh, I have to say shoots in face. Okay, trying this again. Ah, Whoa, I'm dude, what a groovy stuff huh? you got happened in there. You're homophobic. Shoots in face. 
Uh, maybe have a moment, huh? I'm sorry if I gave you the wrong vibe. Why can't I shoot him? Okay, I have to say it alone. I got this. I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. If it's the last thing I... There he is. Oh, look, he's just waiting for me to... He's just waiting for me to open up. Okay. Shoots in face. Whoa, dude, that's not cool, man. I'm not saying... <laughs> Are these people just waiting at their door, waiting for me? They're just waiting for me in their houses, waiting for some freak to walk in. So, shoots a gun. I'm just gonna keep changing hats, these dummies. Shoots, so shoots gun. Shoots gun. <laughs> shoots gun. <laughs> wow. What the fuck is going on? I didn't see all the big bucket. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep switching back and forth between the beret and the fucking umbrella ha hat. We're gonna try again. <laughs> Shoots gun. Why is it not working? Kaylee, you can't actually use the item. It's an April Fool's joke. Shoots my gun. My bullet hitting you in the head. You collapse to the ground and die instantly. No, 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 no. Wait, are y'all for real? It was an April Fool's joke? I can't actually use my gun? No, I believe y'all. Like, actually. Okay, y'all, should we be a chef? Uh oh, a hipster. Hey, that one. Goodness that gracious, one. what in the world? A fancy chef doing at my door in the middle of the night with a taser gun. I hope you're not here to serve up some shock and cuisine. Hello, I just got off my shift at the restaurant and was wondering if you had a phone to use. Yeah, my well, I suppose I'd let you use my phone, but I'm not quite sure about the whole fancy chef business. Are you sure you're not going to cook up some trouble? Oh, no trouble here. I just got off a 15 hour shift on my feet. My back is killing me and my phone is dead. Well, 15 hour shift, that's quite a long work. Long day of work. I can sympathize with back pain, but I must admit, a fancy shift without a working phone makes me a tad suspicious, but I suppose I can't turn away someone in need. Come on in and use the phone, but no funny business, all right? Since you seem polite enough and I've seen no signs of trouble so far, why don't you come in and use the phone? Thank you so much. <laughs> Try seducing one of them? Okay. Watch this. Yo, dude, what's shaking? Ready to party like 999? I need some help opening this can. Do you mind helping me? Oh, uh, seriously, you can't open a stupid can? Fine, whatever. Let me see that thing. Thank you so much. My hands are just so small and frail. Whoa. Yeah, well, you're lucky I'm here to save the day. Just remember this moment next time you underestimate me, okay? Now, here's your stupid can. Enjoy. Wow, thank you so much. I actually didn't catch your name. It was very nice to meet you. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah, whatever. The name's Raven. Nice to meet you too, I guess. Just don't expect me to be all sunshine and rainbows or anything. That's okay. I know it's late at night and I'm so sorry to disturb you, but you really have the most beautiful green eyes I've ever seen. Hello, 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 hello. Whoa, hold up. Did you just say my eyes are beautiful? Well, I can't argue with that. Thanks for the compliment. Anyway, it's cool. You're not disturbing me or anything. You can come in if you want. <laughs> Period. Wow, it's that easy. <laughs> Got him! I love her hair, it's so cute. When will you wear Vix? Will you always wear Vix? Hold on, watch this guys, I have a good one. Are they waiting for me? Yep, they sure are. Watch this, I'm getting better at this. Hey, oh, well, well. What's the deal, hippie? What do you want at this time of night? Can't you see I'm trying to enjoy my peace and quiet? I'm so sorry to disturb you, sir, but I think this package is for you. It got dropped off at my house by the postal service. Hmm, all right, give it here. What could possibly be so important that I ended up at your doorstep? I have no idea what happened. The postal service loves to mess up. Here is your package, though, and I'm so sorry to disturb you. Well, at least you managed to get it here in one piece. I guess I'll give you a little credit for that. Just make sure next time the postal service act gets their act together. By the way, I love your glasses. They're chic as hell. Ah, well. Chic? Well, I suppose I have to agree. These glasses have a certain flair to my already impeccable style. At least you have an eye for fashion. I'm in fashion school, actually. I'm a sophomore. At fashion school. What the hell? Fashion school, huh? I never quite understood all these newfangled trends. 
but I can appreciate someone with a passion for it. Come on in, let's chat about your fancy fashion school. On God! <laughs> Wait, I love this look. <laughs> what the hell you knocking on my door at this ungodly hour? You better not have a good reason. Can you turn this pussy out? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, I haven't done like these townhomes. Hey, uh, what's up? Can't really tell if I should be stoked, stoked or bummed right now. What's up, man? Do you like to skateboard? Skateboarding? Yeah, I used to be into it, but, but now even skateboarding feels like a metaphor, metaphor for life. There's literally a skateboard in your hand. I'm a hero up. <laughs> Don't remind me, it's just an ironic accessory, okay? It represents the futility of trying to find meaning in something as shallow as skateboarding. I'm just trying to find like-minded people to listen to pop punk music with. You dig? Oh, oh you're into pop punk, huh? Well, I guess that's one thing we have in common. The lyrics and angsty meta melodies are like soundtracks to any miserable existence. All right, you can come in, I guess. Don't expect too much enthusiasm, though. Keely, are you dyslexic? Yes. On God. <laughs> I kind of like this hat. I'm going to go back to this old lady. Well, howdy there, sugar. What brings such a lively cowboy like yourself to my doorstep tonight? It's the damn kids in the neighborhood. They're loud as hell. <laughs> oh my, those rascally kids can sure be a handful. Have you tried talking to their parents about the noise issue? I have talked to their parents and they are not going to do anything about it. What do I do? <laughs> oh dear. It sounds like you're quite pretty. I wish I had a magical solution for you, but I don't. Oh my God, this lady's fucking impossible. What's this? Oh, what gardener's outfit? Oh, that's nice. Oh, hey there, dude. What's blooming at this ungodly hour? Hi there. Can you help me open up this can? I wish you that. Sure thing, man. What's in the can? Some special fertilizer for your plants? Well, yes, it's exactly that. Fertilizer for my plants. Hmm, fertilizer, huh? Well, I'm. Oh my god. Hey, um, do you happen to have any weed? Oh, I think I'm the wrong guy. I'm just a regular flower loving gardener. Does a gardener mean you smoke weed? Right. <gasps> Sony Toprano? Hey, man, I really like your gun. Oh, yeah. oh, you like my piece, huh? Well, it ain't for show, pal. What's the calling you want with it? Nothing. I just have seen you around the neighborhood and I like what you're selling. If you know what I mean. Hmm. Well, ah, I see you've been keeping an eye on me. Too. Good taste, my friend. But be careful where you're wandering around. Oh, you might stumble upon something you shouldn't. I always keep this nose clean. I keep my ears clean, my nose clean, and my head clean. <laughs> you really think you're as <laughs> clean as a whistle, huh? Well, let's just say I do what needs to be done to protect what's mine. And I suggest you do the same if you want to stay out of the trouble now. What's your business here? Well, I'm here to give you an offer you can't refuse. An offer I can't refuse, huh? You got my attention, clown. Spill the beans. What is it you think you can offer me? Ooh, what can I offer him? I think I can get you your deepest desires if you wish it. Well, well, well. You seem to have some real potential, clown. Consider yourself invited in. Show me what you got. Maybe we can make some magic happen together. And I know that's right. Period. <laughs> I was supposed to make the hits! Not anymore, bitch! Give me that. Give me the gun. What's with the get up? Do you lose your garden party or something? Or do you come to take a hit of my secret stash? So you do have a secret stash. I wish you had. Haha, you caught me, man. Oh, so he did have weed. Oh, so he did. I like to keep a little something special hidden away, but the real magic in my garden. You know, the plants, the flowers, they all have their own kind of magic. I knew it. You were hiding something from me. But I understand. We all have to protect our peace here. I kind of want to know what you got in that garden that I can have. I'm not well, man, I got all sorts of groovy stuff going on here. Flowers, veggie herbs, you name it. But uh, some things are off limits, if you know what I mean. Gotta keep it all legal and above board, you know? Well, what if I told you I can make a trade that you can't refuse? I'm all, I'm all Sony Soprano now. Hmm, now you got my curiosity peaked. What kind of trade are we talking about here, man? Just remember, 
I'm all about that natural organic stuff, you dig? Oh, I can respect that. I love natural organic stuff, but I'm talking big business, big price. Oh, God. Hello, hello. Sorry, babe. Oh, 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 oh. Money's not really my thing. I just do it for the love of the plants. All right, I respect that. We could keep it on the low key if you want. Low key and plants. Have you had a gun? Well, now you're talking my language. Keep things low key is the way to go. Tell me what, man. Let's keep this conversation going. Maybe we can find a way to help each other. I think I have what you're looking for. I literally have no idea what we're talking about. Not a clue. You gay? <laughs> <laughs> you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, the police are on to me. I'm gonna go back to this guy's house. Hey there, Groovy Soul. What brings you to my humble abode under the moonlight sky? I need you to rock this pussy hard. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's only DL? Shit. Come on. Oh, hello there, you deliciously marvelous human being. Hey, um, I saw you outside a couple days ago and I wanted to come and say hey and introduce myself. We are seducing. Oh, yeah. No way, you recognize me from my video? What? No, I didn't say that. I said I recognize you from the street. My name is Judith Puthy. Mr. East, that's oddly familiar to another content creator. Um, do you have any Eastables? To eat? Have you had a gun? Eastables, huh? Now that's an idea. I haven't thought about creating something like that yet. But it sounds absolutely delicious. What kind of Eastables would you like? Maybe we could brainstorm together. I would love to come in and brainstorm with you on products and merchandise. Thank you so much. Can I see your Mr. Beast by chance? Oh, I'm a fan. Thank well. you for being awesome supporter. Well, I don't have a Mr. Beast right now. I've got loads of other amazing content for you to enjoy. He doesn't have a wiener? <laughs> oh gosh, hi there. Welcome to my fabulously innovative abode of technology wonders. Hey, I saw you walking down the street and I noticed you had a really huge cock. <laughs> Oops! I just took off my clothes in front of him! Oh my god, that was so embarrassing. <laughs> I propose that we suck each other off. Oh, I just had to. I'm sorry. I can make all your problems go away. Oh, I don't take kindly to threats. You must be on your way before I show you the edge of my axe. All right, y'all, I think this is where we end stream. Well, guys, that was suck up. How do you think I did? Let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna be a part of this crazy mess down here, make sure to go to twitch.tv slash Beeb. If you wanna be part of our live chat, we have a lot of fun here and I'll see you next time. Bye.